Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, where... You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see. Okay then, dark and gloomy. Let's try out one of the, of course, more used to moves. Been waiting. Yeah, okay. Good at this. Yeah, yeah, he is. That's a neat trick. No one is to blame but He is really cool in this game, okay. Lucky 
lucky shot. More Hydra coming in quick. These things are hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protective of the title. That didn't stop you from feeding on them. You know as well as I do, Blade. Your thirst, my hunger. We can only fight it for so long. Some of us have tried harder than others. Oh, oh you think I haven't tried to end this? I think you don't mind that you failed. Sting a little! Oh yeah, I forgot I got bleed to, uh, on him. They really seem to like me. <laughs> Reinforcements inbound. Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. I have surmounted one challenge after another just to reach this point. I know what you've been trying to do since you turned. And it has nothing to do with stopping the thirst. Where my blood fails me, I have no choice but to feed. But that doesn't mean I can't change at all. Hate to break up the moment, but we should probably deal with the bad guys, right? Be my victim! seen that before. Maybe you should teach me that one. Let's show them how And this is so cool too. what you don't understand about me almost feel like I'm intruding here but I'm glad you're working out your issues they seem to have a lot of them <laughs> they seem to have a lot of issues and I missed that on next up oh, come on <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, one, two, three. Yep, okay. I think you got him. I doubt they were expecting such resistance. I said he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Whoa, are we talking- Daywalker in a file, Morbius. Tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature, but it's gone along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Cannot allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Some things are better left unsaid, but it was all necessary. Huh. Still, that is very cool. <laughs> I'll make quick work of Whoa, he's fast. That's cool. Maybe you should teach me that one. <laughs> Dead. Okay, that was awesome. Yep. Perfect. Well, he's done for. What is with him and your mother? <laughs> okay. must get along really well. Never surrender. Morbius. Hyper or not, this is wrong. The 
work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. So you've been using them as some kind of guinea pigs? Sounds a little unethical, Doc. As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference. Is there, though? <laughs> That's just the thing, is there? <laughs> I don't hear some the same. You're just lucky I'm not ready to feed. About time. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. No one is to blame, but you Is this what you had hoped for? Watch it. Okay, that was pretty cool. Bodies on the way. If my research here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. But your words aren't lost on me. This one's for you! It must be tough losing all the time. For like... decades. Grateful you don't have eight legs. <laughs> Guys, give me a minute. My dog's got his head stuck in a blanket. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> what in the world? Oh, that was weird. It's a bunch of moths. I'll hug this out later. Hmm? <laughs> this Ooh, I like it. It's over for you. I'm not really into guns, but you make a compelling argument. Finally. No further a 
abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may, there are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. How do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. Go ahead and get settled. Happy to talk anytime. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now the Abbey has as many PhDs as you find on your average golf course. We've met. Dr. Morbius, so good to see you again. Dr. Strange, still patrolling the spiritual realm, I see. I'd love to get set up as quickly as possible in here. Start learning the lay of the land so I can help out. Well, set up your little test tubes anywhere you'd like. Just don't touch any of my stuff. And there are several mystical artifacts in here that no one should look at directly. Don't look and don't touch. You really know how to make a colleague feel at home. Just remember that's only an expression. And you don't actually own any of this. But we really are glad to have you. I can tell. Checking in on me already, Hunter? I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? I would like to know more about you. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that, unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. 
My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were... side effects. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time.